Hi, it's Rogue, and in this game that you're about to watch, something really weird and annoying happened. And even if it's a little one of the survivors' fault, I think it's a game design flaw. And it's really important, in my opinion, to keep to fix it in order to keep the game engaging and entertaining and rewarding for everyone. So what happened here is that uh, the Michaela that I'm gonna down in like five seconds gave up on Hook immediately. So I was like, you know what? I just want to get some pips. I don't want to stress and get like 2,000 blood points for me and the survivors. And this, this guys look a, look a little like babies. So I'm just going to take it super easy on them. And just go around, try the weirdest mind games, be silly. It doesn't matter. But a very big problem arose here. And it was that Mikhail died, of course. But as soon as I started hooking other survivors, they will never get unhooked. And the culprit for this was this thing, this thing here. She never unhooked anyone. And I wasn't camping, like you will see in the game. I, I was going around, placing pots, looking for everyone. She was just hiding. And they didn't let go. Like, they hit every possible skill track, but she still um, never unhooked them. And in the end, she hit again. And... Like, I was there, she was there, um, because I closed Hatch, and instead of being like, you know what, let's just have a chase, I, like, you didn't chase me, I didn't do anything, I didn't get any points, she hit again. And this was extremely boring, uh, because I had pods in the exit gates to see if she was gonna open them, uh, but she didn't, she just died upstairs at some point for absolutely no reason, like, just, you know, to make everyone waste time. This is the same thing that you can feel as survivor um, when the killer has lags for the 4K. Now, it's completely legitimate for survivors to want to escape and for killers to want to 4K. Uh, it's not just a sweaty thing. It's it's more of a... Um, you know, sometimes you have adapts, sometimes you just want an achievement, sometimes you have an archive, or you just want as many points as possible. It's not a sweaty thing. And slugging third survivor is the most um, common and easy way uh, to be sure to find the fort because hatch is not gonna spawn so you remove that like random um, happening but it is very boring on the survivor side being slugged for four minutes is extremely boring and even the game of being slugged and then the other guy gets to you and they get you up and then you get slugged again like it's really, really, really unfun. And it's even more unfun if the last survivor is hiding, as the Fang was doing um, in this game. What, uh, like, you've, you've surely experienced this. Like, being on the floor for four minutes and maybe, you know, getting uh, resuscitated once and then the killer finds you again because you're mourning, you're injured, you make noises and you get slugged again. Um... And blah 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 until you bleed out and you know maybe either the, the other survivor finds hatch or they hide and die to end game collapse and you have wasted four minutes of your life now this entire game like from when it started to when the last person died uh, sorry the third person died died was six minutes and the end game collapse is a couple of minutes which means that one quarter <laughs> one quarter of this match was this thing hiding in a locker or wherever upstairs uh, I don't think this is really acceptable, as I don't think it's acceptable to be slugged for four minutes just because the killer wants the 4k. One thing that it also bothers me is that with the new anti-camp mechanic, okay, if you have the third survivor on hook and you're like me and you're like, you know what, I don't really care about um, the last survivor escaping. I'm just gonna camp this guy so they die on hook and whatever. If the last survivor escapes, they escape, who cares? You're not going to be able to do that anymore unless all the gens have been popped because the anti-camp mechanic is going to be in place so this guy will be able to unhook themselves. And you will have to go through the game of trading where you know you go away because you don't want to proc the fucking uh, unhook mechanic and then the other guy comes and unhooks them and now you, you have to hook them and make a trade and the other guy maybe heals or whatever and they come back but you have to go away. That's going to be extremely boring, and I hope Behavior is going to address this at some point. Um, how? Well, um, the idea of Base Kid Unbreakable and then the final Mori, even if flawed, adds some very um, unique and, in my opinion, engaging components to it, uh, which was uh, the finisher Mori. Um, like, being able to um, 
just find a survivor and immediately uh, kill them if you know if they're there. But I think that in order to make this a little bit more engaging for survivors, there should be some kind of reward if you instead get in an endgame chase um, with the killer and manage to actually keep them busy, like 1v1 them for a very long time. Um, because let's be honest, in some games where people give up or where people don't unhook like this one, um, you may happen to be the last survivor, like innocently, not like this thing, just just innocently. Like you, you're just like, bro, you never even saw me. I was on the other side of the map and everyone gave up on looking two minutes. You may happen to be that, but actually, you know, be a good looper, be able to hold your own. So it's much better um, if you can get at least some kind of reward for that. And I would really enjoy seeing like an end game 1v1, where if you have a survivor can loop the killer for, I don't know, like, um, more than one minute and a half from the chase starting, um, maybe you get the free escape or um, you get more points or you get more shards or whatever. While as a killer, if you manage to down the survivor in less than one minute and a half or two minutes or whatever, um, you get the more points and you get a bonus or whatever. That that would be really, really nice. And it will also would also remove the boredom of all of this because of course this will proc if two survivors are alive. So you'll be incentivized to actually hook the survivor on the ground. Um, yes, there are sweat lords that care a lot about um, 4Ks. Uh, there are sweat lords that really, really, really want um, to absolutely hook all four survivors. But you know, being annoying in the game. Like, if someone really wants to, it's something that will never be patched out. And now, since I'm not annoying, I will spare you the two fucking minutes until I find this thing. And I will just upload the video as it is. But believe me, it was really, really, really boring. <laughs> have a good weekend. Maybe I will upload to no tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, and I have a survival compilation that I could upload. So it all comes boils down if I can do the thumbnails in time. But hey, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Have you ever been bled out for four minutes just for the killer? Not for BM, but just for the killer to get the last survivor. Have you waited two minutes in endgame collapse because the, the survivor, the fourth survivor didn't even try to open the gates or whatever? Was it boring for you? Do you think it's important, it's a priority to patch it out? Or are you okay with that being in the game? I'm very curious. Goodbye.